or welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see, I'm joined by my girlfriend Chloe and also Luke LK Horizon as uh, we're taking a trip up into London. We're going to take some visits to some showrooms nearby. So currently we're at Joe Macari's, have a bit of a look around there and then we're going to go over to Roman's because they have a pretty impressive stock there. So yeah, with that said, let's see what the day brings. Inside the showroom now, as you can see, I've got this pretty interesting TDF behind me. Finished in, I believe, Grigio Abu Dhabi, which is quite a rare colour for any Ferrari, let alone a TDF. Uh, so very cool to see that. But some of the stock they have in here at the moment, I mean, I haven't been here for a while, is just unreal. We've got hypercars, we've got old Citroëns, we've got race cars over there. It's just such a massive variation, and I believe they're all for sale, which is slightly tempting. <laughs> the cars in here. I just want to pick out this Speciale Aperta just briefly because one, you don't normally see them in white, Bianco Abbas, but also with this blue detailing on it as well. It's got the blue calipers, you've got the blue side fins and also a very bold blue interior but it just works with the shape of the car. It's so elegant with the blue stripes, the blue accents, everything. It just works. I'm sure all of you guys are familiar with the Joe Macari showroom. But if you're around the UK, around London area especially, then make sure you pop in here because it is amazing. I mean, I could spend hours in here. Just the amount of stuff. We've got two mirrors here, which I haven't really focused on at all. But it's just rare and incredible cars everywhere you look. Even tucked in the corner, we've got an LM002, which you hardly ever see, and that's probably the only one I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Sadly, we've got to move on. We've got a bit of a trek over to Romans now, which is in South London, before going into Central London for a bit of car spotting. So we've got a bit of a busy day, but there's gonna be some equally as awesome cars over at Romans. when I said there would be some awesome cars. Not only do we have a P1 here, 918 and Carrera GT, part next to each other, we also have a Veyron next to Chiron. Now that isn't too bad at all, is it? <laughs> it's certainly not every day that you see these two part next to each other, let alone those two part next to each other as well. <laughs> but it's more as well, we've got this amazing flip paint on this LT Spider. It's like blue, purple and green, and it just changes you walk around it. Next to a Volcano Orange LT, which is very nice as well. And a white SLS Black Series, which is very nice actually. Take a little peek inside. Red accents and everything. Next to that, we've got a very, very nice Speciale in TDF Blue with the Italian stripe going all the way over it. Carbon centre caps is key. Well, that's nice actually, I've never seen that before but also carbon shields. I have a soft spot for them. Let me know if you agree. As a whole, that has got to be one of the best spec specialities I think I've seen. Looks stunning in that blue. Next to that, we've also got an LT Spider and a matte gray SV Roadster. So yeah, not a bad lineup here in the Roman showroom. Also, there's a pretty large array of cars outside as well. It's so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> You love this car, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Have we each got what we want in this show? You, you've got the four-wheel horse squares. You've got the SLS Black Series. I've got the Turbo what? S. No, I don't have oh, a no, TDF I though. Can't decide between this and the Black Series. <laughs> I don't have the TDF though. If there was a TDF here, if there was a TDF here, then then yeah, there would be a bit of everything. I think you can also get that. To be fair, I do have a soft spot <laughs> for the SVR. They sound insane. They've got the F-Type V8 in them, don't they? Uh, I believe so, yeah. I think what they sound like, it's obviously... I don't know. Mm. A bit much, a bit tacky. It is a bit tacky. I think that the stock one looks better than the overfinished yeah. one. Yeah, I agree. 
I've got a new Velar up there as well. Mm. As well as that, we've got a few tasty things outside. We've got a nice R8 V10 Plus. No. I don't know, I can't tell. Those wheels are, are, are throwing me. Very nice M4 DTM. Very rare car. One of 250 worldwide cars. It does look awesome. It's like the ultimate M4. Very nice matte black M3 as well. But yeah, a bit of everything here at Romans. I even got a Tesla. <laughs> so at this point, we all made our way up into central London, but as soon as we got there, we bumped into this. A black LaFerrari. It literally just pulled up behind us at a set of traffic lights. And unfortunately, Chloe was forced to hang out the window, but I forgot to tell her to put the mic on, uh, hence why I'm doing a little voiceover right now. But yeah, that certainly wasn't a bad start to the day in Knightsbridge. Um, but yeah, from here on, we kind of explored around the area and see what else we could find. and then inside is probably my highlight of the car. It's all blue. And we've got the owner's initial embroidered in the headrest as well. Shame it's not in race mode, but like I always say, when I see a P1, sounds fruity. Yeah, like I always say when I see a P1, you can't really complain. Because even when they're just sat in their normal mode, they still look pretty awesome. I saw this exact car this morning at Joe Macari's before it was even collected. Um, so it was very weird uh, to stumble across this. I didn't even know it was being bought or collected today. Um, but yeah, still pretty awesome to see it already driving around the streets of London. It seems everyone's been distracted by the Enzo that they haven't noticed that there's a Weisman here. <laughs> I'm not sure on the model name because I don't really have much knowledge in it. Makes me fail. I think this is the first one I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, I think it looks quite cool actually. I like the wheels especially. Pretty rare black Enzo wasn't enough. How about that? <laughs> one of one Mansory Aventador Carbonado. This one, I believe, based on the Aventador SV, um, and I believe has about 850 brake horsepower. But what Mansory normally do when they do the Carbonado pack, uh, they offer a twin turbo system, so that brings it up to 1,300. I don't think this one has it, uh, but if it does, then it's got even more power than it already does. Um, but it's insane. If I go up to it, I can show you the carbon weave on it, and it's ridiculous. Why do you zoom in? Look at that weave. It's like fighter jet weave, which just sums up this car. I mean, just look at it. It's got Veneno style wheels, some crazy, stupid exhaust, if you can see that. You probably can't. Um, but oh, it's absolutely ridiculous. Even the, even the grills are in that fighter jet shape. And there you guys can see there the one of one JS1 edition. If you didn't know already, belonging it to James Stunt. Unfortunately, it's got the lift up, so it looks a bit stupid, but. <laughs> Wow, and I suppose with a car this crazy, you've got to have an equally as crazy roof scoop. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. I just can't get over that weave. I've never seen anything like that before. It's got louvres, it's got extra canards, it's got a huge wing, 
got that monstrosity of a roof scoop. And among all that, you've got an obscene amount of power. I think today's been pretty good. So as darkness descends on us here in London, I'm currently using a shop window as light because it's so dark here. My camera's really bad at low light. But yeah, it's been a pretty good day. I mean, we've got a, a green AMG GTR and a green 5 behind me here. And also a 488 up there, which you may have heard. P1? Yeah, P1. No. P1 no. <laughs> okay. You weren't joking. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by that P1. It's been a pretty insane day. We saw that black Enzo. Very briefly saw that white TDF, which was really cool to see. I never thought I was going to see that one. Um, and then we got a P1 to come across there. Oh, and the Mansory Aventador, which is pretty amazing to see as well. So yeah, for a pretty standard October day here in London, it hasn't been too bad. Uh, it's probably going to be one of my last trips to London uh, this year. You never know, if something mad happens and I might make another trip as well. But yeah, while on the subject, if you do want me to make more London videos, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Uh, it's always interesting to see if you guys want to see videos or not. Look at that P1 in the background. Yeah, like I said, I think I'm going to call it a day now. It's been a pretty long one to say the least. So yeah, please do make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you want to see more um, videos from London. Um, by all means, I can happily make some. And last but not least, make sure you are subscribed to the channel for plenty more videos to come. But yeah, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you next time. That was sick timing. <laughs> <laughs>